what it is it's your guy retro neo Ness back again with another games and barbecue video what are we doing today we are going to do smoked fried chicken yeah it sounds like a different and weird concept but first we've got a bunch of marinated chicken right here in this tub right now and it's been marinating for 48 hours in seasoned buttermilk so I've got drumsticks and I've got chicken tenders and we are gonna smoke those and then fry them on the channel today. And then we're gonna have a couple of sides. We've been, as you can see, at Retropalooza this weekend. Let's move into this. I'm gonna do a quick shake up since these have been sitting. And then I'm gonna grab a handful of paper towels. Wow. So these have been marinating for quite a while. Smells really good. This is about as marinated as they're gonna get. So as you can see here, let's go ahead and take a couple of these drumsticks out. And don't worry, my hands have been washed. They've been clean. I ran out of gloves. So I'm gonna be washing very thoroughly after every single thing that I touch. So we've got drumstick seasoned here. We're gonna take those out. And the object here is we're gonna remove all of the seasoning that was on here. We're gonna take all that off and then we're gonna reapply a seasoning because these have been marinating in the buttermilk. And we wanna pat these dry. And the reason for doing that is, is because they're so moist, we wanna pat them dry for a little bit, reapply the seasoning, and then put them on the smoker. So that way they can start to crisp up a little bit. That's definitely what we wanna have. We're just gonna remove all those. So that looks like the rest of those. And yeah, there's still some residual seasoning on top of these drumsticks, but that's okay. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a new batch of seasoning over these very lightly. We don't need to over season these at all. And then we're gonna throw them just right here and then we're gonna put them on the smoker. And I've got these little drumstick trays here that I ordered off of Amazon and these just hold them very nicely. They sit them upside down and then they get a nice even cook all the way around on the drumstick, which is gonna be good. We're gonna put them on the smoker at 180 degrees and we're gonna smoke these drumsticks and also we're gonna smoke chicken tenders for about an hour and then we're gonna pull them off and then we're going to dip them in egg wash and then season flour, throw them in the oil, fry them up for a little bit and then we're gonna put them back on the smoker to finish and then it's time to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the process here, apply all this and we'll meet you right back out at the smoker. Check you later. All right, so now we're back out here at the smoker. I'm gonna move this over here to the side real quick. All right, so we got this smoking at 180 degrees and we're just gonna slot this bad boy in here like so, real nice and easy. And then for these, I don't want the chicken tenders on the bottom of the grill, so we're just gonna apply those across up top here. So they'll get plenty of smoke and they won't burn up. And with the temperature being at 180 degrees, these aren't gonna cook really fast and we don't want them to cook fast. We want them to cook slow. So that way we can get all that wonderful juice and keep the tenderness in the chicken. Right there. And again, I have rewashed my hands multiple times here, folks. So I know I'm out of gloves. All right, we're good to go there. We'll be back in an hour. Man, every time this happens. There we 
I need to update my retro tank. I haven't done that. All right, so Savage Rain. I have never played Savage Rain before, so it's a new game. Okay, let's just go with it. Ayate, Gozu, Carol, Mezu, Eagle, Joker, Gordon, King Lion, Chung, looks like Master Roshi a little bit, Nicola, let's go with Hayate. Facing Nicola, all right. <laughs> I swear these translations were horrible back in the day, even on the Capcom side, like the, all the old fighting games, like when you translate them from Japanese, they were just, my goodness. Alright. Well, it plays. It plays decent. Goodness, I'm getting dusted right now. Okay. Um, it's a fighting game, for sure. <laughs> that I suck at. I have never played it. It so it's got the It has the, the old style dimensional shift, kinda like the old classic Fatal Furies. So I see what they were doing here, but interesting game. Interesting game, indeed. Oh, so you can do supers in this game. I guess. What? I won? Oh my goodness. Crazy. We have the chicken on, so that's been good. And, you know, I've done the smoke fried chicken a couple of times. And it's been really good. And we won. Let's go. Actually, there was a food truck when I was living in Oklahoma City uh, called Bobo's that did something similar with smoke fried chicken. He actually did that with catfish, shrimp. He would smoke the, the meat, then throw it in the fryer, then put it back on the smoker to finish, and then he would serve it with seasoned fries, fried biscuits. It's not necessarily the healthiest of meals, but it was definitely a, a good late night snack for those that were out and about in the club life, uh, going out at night. You just had the late night snacks that you just really want to go after and you're hungry and you don't want to go to your local Taco Bell or McDonald's food truck would have a massive line around the corner it would open up at seven o'clock at night but amazing amazing chicken so I try to replicate it as best as I could you know, I don't know what kind of seasonings he was using for the chicken or anything like that so I just compiled my own stuff. I've done it with different types of chicken, you know, so you can do chicken breasts. If you want to fry up some chicken breasts or I've done the lollipop fried, um, lollipop fried uh, drumsticks. Fortunately, that takes forever. Like lollipop drumsticks, it's, it's a lot of extra work and I didn't want to do that for the sake of the video, but it works out nicely. I'm not a fan of the, me the mechanics of this game. I probably should have read the instruction manual. I normally, like my first go around for a first game, I just dive into it to see what it's like. This game came out in, was it 1995, if I'm not mistaken? So it's, I'm not going to call it a cult classic for this game because some people like it, some people don't. As you can see, I just lost. But let's keep going. They always have to have that one old dude with the, the long beard and the sunglasses. It seems like there's always a man. Fire and ice. Oh, so you can do a ground attack as well. That's good to know. Oh, he got me. Okay, well like that i got dusted on that one all right well let's let's go take a look at the chicken let's see where we're at we played a couple of rounds here and there and then we'll come back all right so as you can see the tenders 
have started to get a little bit of color. The drumsticks haven't really gotten much going on. So we're gonna probably leave the drumsticks on for a little bit longer. These, however, we're gonna go ahead and get pulled off. All right, so we've pulled off the chicken tenders. As you can see, they've got a little bit of grill grade. And again, these are not cooked all the way through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be quick about this. And we're gonna just dip these in egg wash. So apply a little bit of egg wash here, rotate. Throw them in the flour. Egg wash. Flour. All right. Throw this top over the top of this. And we're just gonna toss these in the flour. They are ready for the oil. So we'll do that. So while we wait on the oil to come to temp, we're gonna go ahead and prep our biscuits. So we've got some Pillsbury Grands Southern Home Biscuits, and we're just gonna go ahead and peel this back real quick. Boom. And with the biscuits here, we're just gonna apply these. We're just gonna cut these across. And don't worry, our cleaning surface has been cleaned, and we're just gonna chop these in half like so. So once these are ready to go, we're gonna throw them over here. And then we'll throw these in the fryer when it's time. All right, so we've got the oil. Let's go ahead and do a quick temperature check. Yeah, it's coming up to temp. About 365, 370, we're going to apply this over the top. That's what we want. Nice little crisp to it. We're gonna pull those, put them to the side. We're gonna put these back on the smoker. All right, now we got the drumsticks pulled off. So now we're just gonna dip these in here like so. at a time on these. All right, so we have finished the smoked fried chicken. So we did biscuits and we fried those up and they're pretty good. Very good taste. Does the chicken taste good? That's the, that's the real goal. So what did we do? We smoked it at 180 degrees then we dipped it in egg wash, seasoned flour, threw it in the oil, fried it up, and then we put it back on the smoker to finish. So here's the taste test. We'll find out. Oh, so good. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. We played some awesome games today. And remember, play and collect games that you want to play. And I'll check you next time. Peace.